my goal this morning was to get out here on Caddo and try to get a little morning fog. Um, there's some fog. You can probably see a little of it back there. Um, I'm not a meteorologist, so it's a little potluck, but it was nice and chilly this morning, and we are in early fall, and kind of mid-October, so it's a little bit. It'll burn off here pretty quick. We got a few shots, but um, we hope to show you some of those, but you know what? It's not a bad morning. Photography or not, it's not a bad morning, but... We're obviously having to handhold everything because we can't tripod based anything. So your ISOs have to be up a little bit. Um, apertures have to be open a little bit uh, so that you can hold, handhold them. But, um, man, is it gorgeous out here or what? It is just spectacular. But, of course, there's really not a bad day out here. As you can see, as, it, as the morning goes along, this fog will start burning off and it burns off pretty quickly but, and there's not a lot of color left this year I think the worms got most of the leaves so we're left with a nice gray spooky look but you know heh, it's almost Halloween so that works <laughs> else I was going to mention was lens selection. Uh, the first thought would be to get a nice wide angle lens out here. The problem is your subject is so low when you put a wide angle lens you have cypress trees and they don't get that high. Um, so you're left with a lot of sky and in this case there's not a lot of interest in the sky. It's a clear morning and so I've chosen to go with two lenses. I've, I'm using a 70 to 200, and then I'm also using a. Um, I don't even know what this is. What was it like a 24 to 70? So I'm not using a very wide selection, and most of my shots have been with the 70 to 200, so that I can get that fog. If you get too close to fog, it kind of disappears. So we're shooting from a distance to try to get some of that fog. Now, if you're ever out here at Caddo, you know, one of the things people tend to look for are the things in the water, the alligators and the snakes and things like that. Fortunately, this time of year, there's not a lot of that. They're starting, well, they're starting to hide. But the other thing you need to watch out for out here is hornets and wasps. When you get close to a tree, look, because there are some major nests out here, and they really don't care who you are. So... You know, food for thought. Well, not you. You don't want to be food for thought. That's why you stay away from them. I need more sleep. That's about all I got. Man, I just realized I probably should have called this the Halloween edition because it's spooky and it's foggy and I didn't have anything else to call it. It is spooky. It's really beautiful. 
But it is spooky. Happy Halloween. What was that? Okay, so I think we're about done. If you can see, the sun is starting to come up on some of these trees in the background. There it is, right up in there. You can see them. And uh, fog is starting to burn off. Uh, most of the shots today were shot, um, not all, but most were shot around ISO 800, um, somewhere in that 5.6 range just so that I can try to keep as steady as possible in a boat. But, um, man, it's pretty great out of here. Sure wish, uh, well, I was gonna say I sure wish you were here, but then there'd be a lot more boats and there'd be waves and, so maybe you can come tomorrow. I'm here today. I know it's selfish. I, 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 I don't care. So, anyway. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see if we can do another one another time. <laughs>